I've got some more upstand, so we're going to be cutting this, fitting it, gluing it in place, so that hopefully we're going to be ready for the tiling. And I'm going to try and do that window area as well. But there's crap everywhere again. Let's get on with it. Well, that's the first bit kind of lined up. A couple of things. The trim has a sealed end, as you can see. Yeah, so a properly finished end to it compared to the other end when you cut it. So in here, I'm gonna be obviously finishing here. So your eye line is gonna be drawn to it to see it. So what I want is, I know it's upside down, Rather than having a cut finish, I want the, the nice finish on there. All of which makes sense. Now, if I didn't do that and I just cut it, I could just cut it right there. But instead, I want to use that bit. Using that bit so you get the finish means I have to get the sticker off. You know where this is going, don't you? Yeah right where they are, that special place in hell. I mean, come on, hey, hey, who does that? Who who does that? Who puts stickers on that don't come off? That's just, that's poor. And you can put as many peas in front of that poor as you like, annoying. Anyway, let's cut that bit, get that in, get it lined up with the window frame. And then I'm gonna look at, sitting it on some silicon and then doing the that is the one that will hopefully hold it in place it's it's top stuff is that and uh even the kitchen fitters were going yeah if if you're looking at a few that one's to go for in terms of doing your upstand so let's get it cut stuck in that goes on there you've got a line to there that would Fit to there. 17. So I want 17 off the other end. There we go. So just getting that lined up there. You can see now here where this is flush up against the plaster. That section, that section. And we'll get that one in as well. It's coming together. I don't know if this is going well or not. Everything's a bit wavy and it just kind of, it, it's gonna set hard.
got to say that that is fiddly. It's sticky, it's messy, it's pretty yuck. And I've got some sort of contraption here to, you know where it, the, the wall, the wall in here wasn't straight, was it? So we had the, this little piece here. You know, it's really awkward because what I ended up doing was trying to clamp it and, and sort of hold it, stop it pinging out and hold it in place and also try and hold it so that I've got this section here correct. It's really fiddly, far more so than I ever thought. No, what am I, who am I kidding? Of course, it would be fiddly. Well, it'll do at the moment and then I'll go round and do another kind of proper seal. Horrible, yucky, sticky stuff. I think I need to watch my own video about how to do sealant, huh? I think it's, it's a little bit different because I'm on this one. I, I'm going to give myself a defense because I'm trying to hold it against the wall so it grips as well as seal it. And I think probably both at the same time isn't great, but I wanted to sit each piece on a, a sort of bed of the silicon sealant so that it, it kind of went under and behind the board because if you get water penetration underneath these things, it gets in and it just expands it because it's only, I don't know, crushed dust or something like that. It's not made of anything structurally strong or it, you know, with any integrity. So it's there, we'll kind of move on and all the rest of it. And then we'll look at lining up some tiles. I might just get a couple of tiles out and line them up and see, see what they look like. Right, so I can't do much whilst that dries, so I'm going to tackle this, which overnight has filled in with a whole load of stuff. I mean, what the hell? You know what we really need to, to grease the wheels of doing something like that? You know it? Of course you do. <laughs> it's coffee time. Come on. What I'm trying to do is probably build up a some sort of frame here and then have this piece of PVC come in and we'll just have to do some sort of joint here. And this needs to sink down to the level of the work surface so that it's flush. But it's quite awkward and there's quite a lot of angles and measuring and doing bits. And as we all know, Hey, measure once, buy twice. That stuff's expensive. So I don't really want to make a Horlix of this. Right. So let's move these. So if I, where does that leave me? Where does that touch? Right, battery. This. So I need to go down there at some sort of crazy angle. Oh, let's see. 
that went so that's that's your line what are the chances oh I'll tell you what bloody hell we are definitely not far off That is absolute genius. That really is. I'm well impressed. How the hell did I do that? So we've cut a few bits. Put us okay. Do you know what? I've had enough today. Do you ever get that feeling when you've just, right, I've had enough, I've done quite well, I've got some stuff done, I just want to go, I don't know, sit down, put my feet up, watch a bit of telly. You get that every so often, don't you? But let's have a quick recap as to what the hell we've been doing. In here, I think we've got the upstand within it here. The walls aren't great and they be tilers out there who will be screaming going i'm not tiling that because if you don't prep the walls get them square and all the rest of it your tiling won't rescue the situation i know <laughs> that's why i've gone for a heavily patterned tile to hopefully trick the eye and so you won't really notice we've got some clamps on here and a bit of weight to try and hold that bit that was bent the wrong way to bend it the other way. I don't know if it'll work. We've got a new bit down the back, new bit down the side, and then I'm just laying it out at the moment. I haven't built the frame underneath properly yet, but I'm quite pleased about that. Let me just show you, it is, I don't know if you can see, we are almost at the, level of the glass into the frame. We're not losing anything in terms of, uh, it's not halfway up the window or anything like that. That kind of finishes it so much better, don't you think? I'm quite impressed at that. Now I need to get the frame because the trouble is we've got the, the old infamous, just like the floor, the window's got it as well. So we've got quite a drop, is it? Yeah, yeah quite a drop that way uh, that I'm gonna have to compensate for in the frame and build it up. And I want it solid underneath because that sort of PVC stuff has got no strength to it at all. So if you put anything heavy on, it's just gonna go like that. So I need to build a proper frame. I need a bit more wood. I need to make sure it's all on the slope, but within a centimeter of the work surface, then we can fix it, put it in, seal it, and that windowsill then, I think, I think that looks like I've pulled one out of the fire there, haven't I? I pulled a rabbit out of the hat. I'm well impressed with that. And on that note, I'm going to tidy up, but I'm going to say I'll see you again here very soon as we continue. And we're getting closer, folks, to the escape to the dream house. See you soon.